to Vlogmas. I have got special guest in the house. It's me with the reindeer ears. Oh no, sorry. Oh. Yes. <laughs> it is my brother-in-law, Simone. Simon. Simone. How do you pronounce your name in Italian? Simone. Simone. All right, so Simone is going to be making tiramisu Italian style with a twist. He's not happy about the twist, <laughs> but I said we have to put a Christmas twist on it. So the idea of this is to show you guys like if you want to do gifts that aren't like buying presents, you could do these like little jars of little Christmas tiramisus. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take you through the recipe. So do you want to tell us what ingredients we need? Also, any background noise is little Bubby in the background. He's very excited for the tiramisu. I was going to say tiramisu Bubby, but it didn't really work. Ingredients. All right, we have eggs. How many? We're going to go four eggs, and then we're going to go for 500 grams of mascarpone, and no mascarpone. <laughs> mascarpone. Mascarpone. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> this is like a, this is sugar in a jar of candelina beans. You just reuse the things. So what kind of sugar? Cast of sugar. And then some yard, which is because the, just the biscuits, the base. We're gonna use. And what do these look like? What's it called? Lady fingers? Called in English? Oh yeah, I think they are lady fingers. Show, show me what are your fingers? Are like a lady? Yeah, more or less. <laughs> we don't want to know. That <laughs> And the twist, it's not, I'm not responsible for the twist. <laughs> He's Absolutely. not impressed. Oh, and the coffee? Like cold coffee. Um, so we prepare the mocha behind us. And the chocolate. The twist. So what chocolate would you usually do? Just like normal milk just, chocolate? No, we use... Oh my God! <laughs> Sorry, just a little quiet. Oh, he is... Dark Can chocolate. you smell? You haven't showered today, have you? That's why no, I, I, just, I just went for a walk. Shut up. Um, <laughs> dark chocolate, dark chocolate. Okay. Is dark chocolate. So the twist that I'm doing, I bought this gingerbread biscuit chocolate because it's Christmas. We're going to do the little grate this chocolate on to make it Christmas. <laughs> it's a no-no for Italians, but we're making it straya. We didn't even eat gingerbread in Christmas. We don't even know what gingerbread is. We also have mini jars. So if you were doing like a big one, you usually just do like a tray, right. but we're doing little mini jars because they're going to be gift jars. And then put like a cute little ribbon around it, jazz it up, crimbo it up. There's like a fucking wasp. You know no, that no, one no, that's always, yeah, yeah, there. <laughs> Ciao. Okay, so coffee. So we got the coffee, the mocha. Alright, I'm gonna get put a coffee in a tray. The tray is big enough for the finger bread or finger biscuits, what's it called, the finger for the savoyardi. So if it's too small, you won't be able to actually put the savoyardi in the bowl. But aren't we putting them in jars? Yes, but you need to. There's gonna be it's gonna be coffee here. Put one biscuit. Pop, oh, pop, you dip it. Dip and then inside you put a coffee, it in. and then you put it. Okay. You can break it. And stuff. Cool. And what did you do to the coffee? Like what would people from home just do to make? Oh uh, yeah, to if you don't have the mocha, you can just use any espresso machine or um, you can also use a French press. Just make it quite strong. And and do you want it to be cold? So we've had that going. Now we've let it. Sit. Yes, we let it sit. So it's cold is better. Um, this is like I think it's still a bit warm, um, but it should be fine by the time we cook. We're making the rest of the ingredients. Yes, we don't. We're not gonna make. I'm still with alcohol, then not, none of that. Um, so, also kids can have it. If they can have coffee, they'll be bouncing off the walls. Oh, then I want to And sugar. Whatever. Maybe not. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really cooled down. <laughs> There's fucking hair everywhere in this house. There's the cat. The cat gets hair everywhere. <laughs> this is more than on YouTube. Get those back in. No, clean it. You're fucked. <laughs> 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 two, two, two. Let's say two. Depends how sugary you want to make it. Put like two spoons, spoon of sugar, spoons of sugar. Bang. That was more like one and a half. Sugar in. Sugar in. Not the rums. This is sugar in. Onion in. Garlic in. 
Mm, 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 taste good, yeah. Taste very coffee. We leave it here. Rest, rest in part in peace. Coffee, just very thin. We still gonna need the sugar for the egg, the eggs and mascarpone. Okay. Right now we have the eggs. We're gonna crack the eggs. We need to separate the yolk from the white. Mm -hmm. And one way I'll do it, just like you crack. You need two bowls. One is gonna be the white gonna be here. The yolk in here. Um, this is what we're gonna make the actual base of the cream. And then we're gonna um, whip the, the, the whites, make it like a snow effect, and then everything goes together. Right. This. Okay, we're gonna put, I will say, three, four um, spoons of sugar, because we do love sugar, don't we? <laughs> Health and Fitness YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, great. Nice. Yeah. Now we're gonna blend it. Okay, cool. So that's the consistency as long as it's just mixed together, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, correct. Our other chef is coming to join. Hey, mister. Oh. All right, so now blending the egg whites. What are we gonna do now? Let's put the mascarpone first into the mix with egg and, yeah. Yolk yep. and the sugar. Mm, that's a big mascarpone. Yeah. Turn around. Mm. Mm. Right <laughs> well. Almost done. What we're we gonna do? We're gonna add the white into this. In a way to mix the white into the mascarpone kind of cream. It's from the bottom to top, so we keep the air going through, so hopefully it stays, helps to stay the, um, keep it fluffy. Pop! Oh, mixer, mixer. Mm -hmm. See, it stays fluffy. Mm. Soft and smooth. <laughs> That technique though, it's all in the wrist action. <laughs> so at, one, at the end of this, this is a cream that can be used as a dessert as well. Put it in, in a glass, you can top up with um, some strawberries, some fruit, and now we use it either like with a spoon. Beautiful. Probably this one of the best cream I've ever done. It looks incredible. It's got that pressure on. All right, taste test. Go. You go first. Oh shit, that's good. That's really good. Mm. It's like really light and airy and fluffy and like oh. sweet oh. without being like. Yes, this is good, eh? Okay, just another one to try. Rio. Rio. Mm. For this cream, put in the fridge, serve without fruit, it just like. Next level. This is typical modern around the area. And modern is going to see it easily. It's just, it's absolutely next level. Ooh, ooh. Tiramisu! Ooh. <laughs> Tiramisu! Ooh, ooh. Tiramisu! Okay, let's grab one of the, the jar. You're too tall for this shot, because we can see. Okay, let's pick one of the jar. <laughs> is that me? So, with a bit of a station, we need a label. Label. <laughs> like him. Okay, so this is to pour the cream inside the beautiful jar. So we're gonna put the Vicky, the Savoyardi, in a coffee, and then we're gonna place it inside the jar. We're gonna break it in multiple pieces so it can fit within the jar. And then we top with the cream, and then we can grate a bit of gingerbread, chocolate. gingerbread chocolate, which it's whatever it is, yeah, you know, great. Okay. So, which step you would like to do? The creme. Yeah, of course you will. Right. 
So how much do I put in? Am I just um, covering the base? Oh, first, first. Oh, the biscuit first? Yeah, there's the base. Pretty thick there. Put that around, yeah, we'll. Yeah. Beauty. Should we put some chocolate in between? Yeah. Get that ginger up in there, you know? We can even put some ginger spice into it. No. <laughs> Is it gonna work? Yeah. That looks freaking delish. Cool. Little bits of ginger. And then another round? Another round, yeah. yeah. There you go, you got your first tip. Tiramisu in a jar. Finito, finito. Now this is good. This is almost like a. That's my present for Christmas. Is that what, what I get? Do. What if I'm gluten free, Jerry? <laughs> oh, this is for you. It is for me. It's actually gluten free. Another big biscuits. But you can do with gluten free biscuits. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, you can just tie a little bow around it, put it in the fridge. Yeah, they're both cool. Yeah. Bring it to Christmas Day. Yeah. For, yes. Gifts. Be nice. Dad would yes. love this. I made this for for a wedding once. So good. That was that the present we yes. broke. No, 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 it was <laughs> a, com a that? competition. A wedding, wedding. A wedding competition? Yeah, or oh, it was a cake competition for a wedding. Oh, that's random. Mm. That's one way to get a free wedding cake. There you go. Okay, so there's tiramisu. Ti <laughs> tiramisu. There's Simone's tiramisu with a Christmas twist that I forced upon him. That is Vlogmas, another Vlogmas episode. Thanks for tuning in for your going surfing. <laughs> Make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment, turn notifications on. If you want to see this weirdo back in here, make sure you comment and sh show him the love. He loves attention, as you can see. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> make out to your masseur.